There are some people who can say all sorts of things to you and promise you of a job just to have their way with you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Milan, beautifully Milan. You are most welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for deciding to join this family. You are most welcome. I hope you have a nice time here. And if you are an oldie, thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. Before I get into the video, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Subscribe, click on the post notification so I get notified anytime I upload a new video. And comment, let me know, engage with me, all right? Today's video, I'll be talking to my brothers and sisters who have started their national service here in Ghana. I want to advise you on some of the things you need to be aware of, you need to be conscious of while doing your national service. I don't want you to just go through the one year system, finish with nothing to show for, or finish and then you struggle with some things, no. I want you to be informed on the things you need to do, okay? So for the sake of those who are probably not Ghanaians who are watching me, I want to give a little background information on what national service in Ghana is. The government of Ghana pays for a percentage of the educational cost of students in Ghana. And so you would find that your hall fees and your school fees have been subsidized. If not, you would have been paying outrageous amounts of money in school. And because of this, what the government of Ghana brought about is that after you complete your tertiary education from an accredited Ghanaian university, as a Ghanaian, it is mandated that you serve your country for one year. It is compulsory for you to do that. So basically, this is what national service is about. I'm not here to talk about the whole national service scheme. What I have for my audience is advice on some of the things you need to do when doing your national service. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. One of my subscribers actually reached out to me to do this video for the national service personnel who are starting. And so, hello, Afo. The first advice I have for the new national service personnel is that see it as an actual job because it is an actual job. When you complete your national service, it's now a job experience you have. And so you got to put it in your CV as a job experience. It is therefore expected that you put in the same effort as a permanent employee. Don't approach the whole national service with the attitude of, oh, it's just a one year service that I have to do for my government and yeah, let me do it anyhow and go. No, people are watching. Bear in mind that these companies that you are doing your service with are the same companies you'll be applying for jobs in. There are more situations that people end up being posted to places which are way out of their career path. It is all good. You have to see it as a learning experience. You have to do your best wherever you find yourself. Put in 100%. You have to be punctual to work. Dress as a worker. Dress as a worker. People are watching. Bear in mind that people are watching. You get to build your whole career from that stage. It is an opportunity the government has given you. Forget about the fact that you are paying back the government the assistance it offered to you with your educational fees or educational course forget about that and see it as a job and approach it with 100 percent efforts okay give it your all give it your all allow yourself to learn allow yourself to grow allow yourself to be taught be hard working be dedicated with whatever you are giving rise up to any tax that you are giving as a personnel wake up early make sure you get car early don't give excuses I, I couldn't get car early that's why i'm late it is not necessary all of it they are just tarnishing your image just see it as building your career path from that point the second advice is build good connections wherever you find yourself forget about the fact that you are a chemical engineer who has been posted to a village to teach Forget about that. Wherever you find yourself, build good connections. You don't know the connections the headmaster or mistress of that small 
school has you don't know you don't know the connections the other teachers you want to meet in that school have so build good connections build good interpersonal relationship if you are fortunate enough to find yourself in a place that is in line with your career path good for you relate with the people you work well relate with the permanent employees there well relate with your fellow service personnel well hmm. i tell you you don't know who knows who so be humble and respectful towards everyone be humble and respectful towards your supervisor your fellow service personnel the other permanent employees you find yourself with be respectful and build good connections connections be nice to everyone don't go to the companies then go and form clicks there don't be friends with just service personnel no relate with everyone talk to everyone <coughs> When it comes to networking, in as much as we want to um, secure a job after service, I need you to be very, very careful, okay? It's not every connection that is necessary. There are some people who can say all sorts of things to you and promise you of a job just to have their way with you. And at the end of the day, it is not so. That will not happen. So, in as much as I'm advising you to network well, I want you to network with your head, okay? Take wise decisions. Be careful the kind of networks you build. Be careful the kind of relationships you build. The fact that I'm saying go and network doesn't mean that you should go and be flirting about, no. Nope. It doesn't end anyway, okay? It, it does sometimes. It does for some people, but no you want to make sure you are going through the right channels you want to make sure you are going through something that your conscience will not beat you on so um be careful network but be careful the next thing is for you to actually start your job hunt if you intend on working for others after your service or for you to actually start research on building a business on your own if you want to work for yourself after service don't just be there and follow through the normal day-to-day -day procedures and then finish your national service and you have nothing to show for and think that miraculously after you finish your service you are going to get job offers like crazy as soon as you start applying for jobs no as you are doing your service start your job hunt okay start your job hunt prepare the cvs ask for the advices on how to properly prepare your cvs go around ask people the connections you have built ask them what you need to do how you need to go about it you know which companies to go they would advise you on all of that and if you want to start your job if you want to start your own job do the necessary research ask the necessary questions you know build your business plan your business plan research on how to build a good business plan as you do your service and get to know some of the things you can learn some of the things you can research on i learned this after i completed my service and it was that during our time there was a girl who knew that after she completes she doesn't know anyone she doesn't have any relative in any family and so she took a bold step and luckily for her she was at the head of and she had sort of an access to the MD of the company what she did was that she decided to go and see the managing director of the company and ask for a job ask for a job because she knew that after service there was no guarantee of she getting a job and so she decided to make good use of the opportunity she had she was closer to the md and so she saw it as a good opportunity and then she grabbed it and ran with it and guess what she actually got a job she got a job so if you find yourself in situations like that that you know you can do something like this feel free gather the courage go to whichever supervisor you know can lead you to a higher authority who can help you secure your job and do that all right the next thing is that you need to prepare yourself for the job market as you are doing your service you have the whole year of course you are working so you are busy but then use that opportunity to build yourself for the job market 
polish your aptitude test skills polish your interview skills do all of that I've said this in one of my videos before find time to solve aptitude test questions because this is how most of the recruitment are going now aptitude test definitely comes in as well as the interview sessions so prepare yourself for the job market the last thing i'll advise you on is to save i know it can be very challenging when maybe you you had to go and rent a place on your own it can be very difficult to save money in that sense but if possible if it is possible save as much as you can don't just chop your allowance here okay save some this will help you when you start applying for jobs this will serve as a little cushion after service in that it's not every job that you can apply for them online sometimes you need to print out the application letters and your cvs and actually pick cars to various companies to leave them and they all require money where you want to set up your own company especially when you know you have no one to rely on you need money to register your company you need money to get some things going and saving part of your money would actually help you okay saving will help you to be less dependent on the people around you after service and even during the service so save your money saving doesn't hurt even when you don't really have some huge plans or even when your job is assured after service you still need to save it, it will actually help you build that attitude it will help you build that savings culture so that when you land your permanent job saving now becomes extra easy okay so guys these are all the advice i have for you now as and when anything comes up that i believe can help you or make your national service process easier of course i'll let you know okay so if you enjoyed this video please make sure you click on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet and also please click on the post notification to get notified anytime i upload a new video and share my videos with people you know can also learn from this if there are any other videos that you think i can do to help you let me know let me know in the comments down below and yeah thank you so much for watching me guys i really appreciate your support and do have a good day okay bye